that ice spice line? I'm thinking of being an oat. It's Charlie here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for tapping on this video. I'm so happy that you're here. If you're a subscribe girl, we should all be subscribe girls. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, and comment. Like, tapping with the girl, okay? I'm about to get this hair done. My hair is going so much, like, she is just thick, which is so tea. I'm gonna go get some boho knotless braids real long. Okay, it's real hot outside. I'm feeling the energy. I love the energy I had when I had this hairstyle last, and that's the energy I'm trying to embody. Okay, so I'm about to head to the city. Also, my car, <laughs> she's broken. She's really broken. It's giving on foot, public transportation, uh, and just vibing, okay? And it's cool, it's cool, we're vibing. Mommy's about to drop me off. And <laughs> yeah, girl, welcome to my life. I'm happy that you're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Talk, I don't hang with rats, that's some new type shit. Get a nigga wet, don't new type shit. Sip and drink it, it's some screw type shit. Just say it, huh? Run through crew type shit. I got a bad bitch at home, boo boo type shit. Take down making sad yawns by the crew type shit. Bitch. <laughs> I'm feeling so cute. Like, this is one of my favorite hairstyles to have. Maybe because it looks like a weave, and I don't gotta get a weave, you know? And it just gives. Ooh, like she's so pretty. <gasps> this is my my hairstyle for. <gasps> I love this hairstyle. Even like for dance, like I love this hairstyle. I feel like just it just gives. It just gives. Here <gasps> was it. Anyways, guys, I'm so grateful. So excited for my life. Like, oh my god. I'm so grateful for my life like just to look back like even just looking back at May like just looking back on May like I was doing like a little recap post for my Instagram and I'm looking and I'm like putting my little May post together and I had said this quote and it literally said all of your like prayers in silence or solitude will become blessings in for the public in the public or something like that it's something like that but that was literally may and it's literally about to be june too and it's just like these months are just filled with so much just love and joy and like abundance and i'm just so grateful because it's everything that i prayed for so i'm receiving everything with open arms <sighs> i'm so excited i'm so excited to like share it with you guys and just experiencing life like it is so exciting dude like it is just so exciting. I'm just like, bro, just thinking about all the times I used to just be driving in the car, just like blasting my music and just visualizing my life, bro, and how I wanted my life to be. And then I literally set up everything to make it that. And whether it showed up exactly the way I thought it would or it showed up in a completely different way than I thought it, thought it would, it still showed up. You know what I mean? So just seeing that, acknowledging that, and like sitting in that, so fire. We, girl, we're going to hop on FaceTime a little later because I just need to decompress. Public transportation is a lot for me, personally. Bugs be flying me on, on me and shit. <sighs> it's literally bugs in the Uber I was in. Love you. Good morning. Today is Wednesday. Turn up. Uh. It's so much for the week. I'm currently looking at the charts right now. 
I'm about to walk to the gym and just vibe out. You know what I mean? A uh, reminder that I have for myself this morning. I'm like, literally every day I wake up, I'm like, trust God, thank God, because everything is happening exactly the way it is supposed to be. I am 18 years old and I'm learning how to live. Today, I have the power to create my dream reality. I can either continue what I passed and old habits that I had, or I can just decide to create new ones and be a completely different person if I want to, right now, today. So, those are just the three reminders. Oh, dang. I feel like my curtains are gonna fall. Why is it popping out the wall like that? But no, yeah, for like, literally, like you have the power to create your dream reality just by changing your habits and just being like, yeah, today I'm going to start. Like, yeah, girl. It's just the hardest part is breaking old habits. So, yeah, girl. Hopefully you can add those sentences and affirmations and reminders for yourself in the morning too because it really helps me get out of my head, stop overthinking. The second I wake up, my brain will start overthinking. I'm like, girl, first of all, trust God, thank God, and everything is happening exactly the way it's supposed to be. And I shut it down real quick, okay? And I read my books. I read In God's Presence, this daily devotional today. And I also read the Eliza Van Zandt until today daily devo devotional. Some days I'll read a book in the morning. Honestly, every single day is going to be completely different because every single day I'm going to get one step closer to my goal in a different way. So not every single day is going to look the same. Not all your habits are going to be the same. Not your routines are not always going to be the same. Oh my gosh. Looking at the chart, I'm like, girl, it's I are. It's 8.30, so the um, market's about to open, so it's definitely a time for, like, very highly volatile markets. Oh, my God. I look you want to get in on this one, because this is, like, the third test, and I'm like, I think this is going to be the last test before we fully out of here. I'm like... Anyways, yo, girl, let's head to the gym and vibe. Okay. She love it when the sun comes out. Sweet love when the dark comes out. Sometimes, sometimes she gotta put herself in check. She don't take no disrespect. You leave it got no effect, but she ain't living check to check. Hey vlog, we're about to be out. So again, I'm going to show you guys my outfit. I'm going to the Museum of... Wait, Museum of Modern Art. We're on our way out. This is the fit for today. Um, pants are from Addicted. The top is from Aritzia. I got like, this little chain going around the pants to kind of keep the pants on my body, honestly. But I got that from Amazon. The shoes are cool guys. I'm gonna get a little vibe on my phone and I'll see you there, buddy. Funny that you hear, cause I know this really ain't no thing. She said you got that right, and I call will arrive in 15. She said it's 12 35, but she still got work in the morning. I ain't trying to kill the vibe, you can see it in my face, I'm torn. See it, but well, just like that, they paying our song from way back when we fell in love. She put down her jacket and gave me her phone, said that I can't stay, but just hold up. Moving through the crowd, I'm I just got back from the city. I have a single brain cell. I'm so tired. It was such a vibe. I was able to edit the vlog a little bit today by the pool before I left, so it felt really good to like know that I got some work done today, and 
y'all y'all saw the gym ate me up like i think i'm just extra tired because the gym like really was like girl every time i come home i literally wipe my hair off with disinfectant wipes i don't care what anybody says i think that we should all be doing this shit because our hair is like an accessory like nobody's about to be washing freaking box braids that you just got done like the next day because you've been outside all day and your hair been touching everything especially if you're not the kind of person who want to put your hair up every time you know what i mean you don't want to do too freaking much i say wipe your hair off with some disinfectant wipes put some loose on that job wrap it up in a scarf put your bonnet on and go to bed because i think that is just so dirty if we don't wipe our hair off y'all it touches everything especially if you don't wear it up that's that's all i'm saying <laughs> say what you will i don't know why this light looks like this but it's cool i'm going to bed i hope you're having a beautiful day or night or whenever you are watching this hope you're creating a nice ass vibe because you deserve it make sure you show up for yourself all the time because you deserve it period see you tomorrow betty Thursday. I'm currently doing some work. Oh my gosh, we're vibing today. <sighs> I just took a test for my criminal investigation class. I literally know more than I think I do. I'm like, you know what I mean? I, I really know. I really know. And it's T. And it's T. I'm about to um, freaking watch the lecture for my financial accounting class and then do there's like two homework assignments after like each lecture basically it's like a lab and then a homework so i'm gonna do that so i'm caught off caught up on work for like the rest of the weekend for me i'm all about just staying on top of my things i would much rather finish and lock in and do what i gotta do so that i can do whatever i want to do on a whole nother day you get me and at the end of the day, nothing really does take as long as we think it takes. So, I'm like, actually, I'm not procrastinating. I do not submit to that club of procrastinators because I'm literally a chronic procrastinator. I know myself. I know what... I know how long I can procrastinate for. And I also know how much better I feel when I don't procrastinate. So I just don't do it anymore. Because you have a choice at the end of the day. Period. So yeah, let's tap in. I'm about to get my eyebrows done. And I'm also going to get my nails and my toes done today. Um, so that's why I'm like, let's lock in on this. And then we're editing the vlog. I'm going to register to vote. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> got my eyebrows done they are finished just finished my homework i ended up taking a quiz actually a quiz that i thought was gonna have yesterday and i thought i could only take it tomorrow not yesterday a quiz that i thought i would have tomorrow but i thought i could only take it tomorrow and ended up being able to take it and it was for criminal investigation and it was so quick i was able to do that and then i finished those two assignments it's like it's kind of a lot like it kind of takes a lot of time to finish these assignments um and i mean that makes sense like it's obviously not going to take me 30 minutes to finish fucking classwork like you know what i mean like i'm teaching myself this shit and i'm also like studying it and like 
um, testing like my knowledge and all that stuff at the same time. So it low-key takes a minute. Like I've low-key been working on this since like 9 o'clock and now it's 12 and I'm just finishing. So, wow, it is 12 o'clock. I got my eyebrows done at uh, 10. Bro, I was sitting there for two hours doing that. That is... <sighs> Anyways, you put appropriate time to the appropriate things okay so period i finished the homework that i want to do i want to do so that's done now i think i'm about to go get my nails and my toes done i feel like i need these johns done asap rocky <laughs> and i just like to keep up to date with my stuff because i have a couple non-negotiables i feel like we should all have this we should all have a couple non-negotiable things that we have to get done like these are the priorities outside of like food water sleep like you know what i mean what what you're paying for you get me outside of clothes that's necessary you know what i mean <laughs> but like my non-negotiables are my my nails at least for me personally i like to get my nails done i actually used to do my nails let me know if any of y'all do your nails because i used to do my nails and then i was like girl actually i don't really mind sitting here for you to do my nails a lot faster than I would. I actually got really good like the designs and stuff. So like whenever I want to have like a design or something. I do not mind doing it myself on my own hands. But 9 times out of 10 I'm just going for like this plain old clean ass like clear pink. I just I feel like am I an on duty, duty model like all the time now? Girl I don't know. So I just feel like I gotta be prepared. You know what I mean? Stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. Period. My hair is also a non-negotiable for me, my toes are a non-negotiable for me, and my wax is a non-negotiable for me, period. Those are my, I like, I feel the cleanest, I feel the most put together when my hair is done and everything else is done. You know what I mean? I feel like, okay, period, I can go get in a bikini right now if I wanted to. Like, you know what I mean? I like to stay ready, so girls don't gotta get ready. So, yeah. Yeah, let me know what your non-negotiables are. I feel like we should all have them. Write them down, like, you know what I mean? Even if you're just like, okay, period, I'm gonna have a monthly maintenance day, and these are when I'm gonna perform my non-negotiables, and feel put together, and feel your best, because I feel like we have to set ourselves up to feel good and look good in our own skin, however you feel that you look the best in your own skin, if that makes sense, like... If you're like, girl, I need to do my twist out every single night. That is a non-negotiable so my fro can be T. Girl, that's a non-negotiable. Okay? <laughs> but yeah, girl. Okay, but I'm about to call this nail salon. Pretty sure that they're open right now. Let's see if they have availability. Hi, this is Charlie Rose. I wanted to know if you have any availability for a UV gel fill-in and a uh -huh. pedicure. Okay, what time? Come now? Yeah, and come right now. All right, okay. Okay, okay. perfect. See you soon. See you. Okay, come. And okay, goodbye. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, I'm going to the nail salon. This is the fit today. I have this, like, really tiny crop top, like... I don't even know what you would call this, but it's so cute. Like, button-up, crop top, it's so cute. And the sweatpants are from Aritzia. It's low, it's so cold outside. It's like 66 degrees. For like the summer, yeah, it's cold. But I wanted to show you guys. Oh, I also got my nails done. Look, y'all. It's a little bit more cream compared to what I had last time. But I really like it. I like just trying different shades of pink. And just different vibes. And this is my breakfast. Okay, like this is some like people from the south. Like you know what I mean. This is what it's, it's giving for me right now. I got some grits on a piece of sourdough bread, some boiled eggs, freaking sausage, spinach, and peppers, bro. Like this is just so healthy. Like I love me healthy, but like I don't even know. Would you call grits not healthy? I don't know. I think they're pretty healthy, but I put that joint on toast so that like sourdough bread like oh my god oh my god my mom literally thinks it's like the most fat ass thing ever <laughs> but one thing about me i'm gonna have my grits toast okay 
Oh yeah, that's my breakfast. Honestly, it's not even breakfast, it's three o'clock. Put the greens in in the morning, my mom taught me that. She was like, you can have some spinach and some peppers and onions mixed up with your breakfast. I'm like, bro, facts. I'm like, I'm not really a breakfast food person. Like, I'm not gonna be eating waffles. I used to eat cinnamon rolls every single day for breakfast when I was a kid. So that's probably why I don't even like that. What's that ice spice line? I'm thick because I be eating oats. We get it on what we got. Nowadays I be stuck on cameras. And they hype that I'm up when I'm banners Calling my phone but they know I don't answer Why? In the hood I'm like Princess Diana I'm thick cause I be eating oats Bitch not taking shit from me but notes Wanna be me so she do my emotes And my name and I'm out so I bet she gon' choke So my man I'm the girl of his dreams Think about me Yes, let me eat and enjoy My own company like period <laughs> Hey vlog, I'm feeling very grateful, I'm feeling excited, I'm feeling motivated, I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling grateful, I'm feeling all of it, that's how I'm really feeling. Just filmed the dance video and vibed and now I'm about to literally wind down. I was sweating my ass off in here. I literally was in here on full dancer mode. Like, I wasn't really able to get into a full dancer mode, like, the way I really wanted to. Because I was like, I can't stick to this floor. But I was, I'm not the kind of person that likes to wear shoes in my room. It grosses me out. But I was like, maybe I need to put some shoes on to feel a little bit more comfortable traction. than like, I can control myself on this floor. And that's exactly what I needed. So go tap into that dance video. It's posted on my Instagram right now. But, girl, that's exactly what I needed, so now I'm, like, really just tapping into that bag. Because even if I can't get to a dance class, like, it's okay. Like, I can still train here. Just continuously training my body in, like, the most intense dancer way, kind of. And the most intense dancer way is, like, finding different ways to, like, control your body in different movement quality and, like, styles. That's why I like to listen to so many different kinds of music with different cadences, different, like ad-libs way that they like all that like I love all that shit so when I'm listening to different music I get inspired and I'm like I just needed to make myself like a space remember I was like I wanted to move my bed from over there no because this is like fully made me like a whole dance studio space that I can really sink into it and I'm like okay bet this is gonna have to mean I have to wear shoes so I can really lock in I'm in my dancer bag I feel like I'm better in every other aspect of my life as well because dance kind of just centers me so I'm able to be very effective in school very effective in content creation I feel like I have a lot more creative ideas because I'm using that creativity through movement and it just kind of calms my mind and settles me on that creative perspective so yeah it's been tea and that's why i'm feeling really good because i know every time i go to like a dance class and i haven't been in a while every time i come out of the dance class i'm i'm newly inspired i gotta go tell my mom how i'm about to change my life i swear like every single time it's a kind of like energy and like i don't know like a movement driver i don't know like that energy i get from dance is just such something i say tap into your original creativity outlet and it might just bring you back around, girl. Anyways, love you. I'm going to sleep. It's literally 8 p.m. I've been up since like 6 a.m. Working my ass off and also just getting my maintenance done. So I'm just a little tired, but I am going to be laying in the bed editing and call it a night. Okay? Love you. Good morning. Today's Friday. It's currently 6.20 a.m. <laughs> I'm about to leave to bring my mom to the airport, um, and we're gonna vibe. And today's a good ass day. I woke up at 5 a.m. and it was honestly a clean ass wake up. Like one thing about me, I love the morning sun. I'm gonna get it right. 
So right here, we'd be sitting here like, Wusa, Wusa. <laughs> but, um, calm vibes still. Editing the vlog today. Finishing, I really just want to finish editing the vlog today, if that's possible. And like, low-key, get it like, uploaded. And like, ready and scheduled for tomorrow. We'll tap in later, girl. Good morning. I'm happy you're here. Y'all, I just found an account on YouTube. It's called The Playlist Joint. And they do freaking remixes and flips, non-copyright music. So I can play it for y'all, and then I can freestyle on YouTube. That is so fire. Because, bro, the vibes are already tea, bro. Hold on. I was literally just playing it. I'm like, da, da, da. They mix that shit crazy. Oh my gosh. And they literally just started posting. Like they are they are a small account, y'all. Tap into them, but this is far. This is so fire. Bro, I literally wouldn't learn how to make mixes like this, bro. Stay this far in the video. Love you guys so much. And I'll see y'all in the next vid.